In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, in me. In Ephesians chapter 5, there is a beautiful verse that I want you to memorize. He said, Giving thanks always for all things to God, the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Giving thanks always is similar to pray without ceasing from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. You pray all the time by thanking God all the time and for all things. All thing, for all things means to give thanks for everything, whatever happens, because it is the best thing for you. God knows that this is the best thing for you before you get it. Were you born in Egypt? That was the best thing for you. Were you born a cop? That was the best thing for you. Were you born in this or that family, even if they are exhausting? That was the best thing for you. Give thanks for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray and say, thank you, my Lord Jesus Christ. And also says, to God the Father, means pray as a son talking to his Father, thanking him for everything he has done to him. Okay, memorize it. It's Ephesians 5.20. Giving thanks always for all things to God the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Colossians chapter 3, Paul wrote, Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Paul wrote his letters to the Ephesians and Colossians while he was in prison. He was thankful in prison and wrote about giving thanks to God for everything and all the time while he was experiencing this in prison. Therefore, it is not impossible to thank God for everything. Paul did that while he was in prison. He said, Whatever you do in word or deed, do all giving thanks to God. If you can maintain this state, you will be the happiest person alive. This is simple Christian spirituality. Believe me, in some modest villages, we can find people who live as if they are living with Jesus in Galilee 2,000 years ago. We find poor women who are very simple and naive, but they are living this, this sermon that I'm preaching to you now without even thinking about it too much. Nothing is going right for them. They have problems left and right. They live in poverty. Half their family has departed to heaven. Yet they are always smiling, saying, Thank you, God, or glory be to you, God, or thanks be to you, God, with every breath, although their lives are extremely hard and sometimes tragic. This is what Christ wanted when he told us to give thanks all the time. It is not strange or impossible. We already have much more than what these poor humble women have. However, we don't thank God as they do. In the first epistle to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, Paul said the same thing. He said, Rejoice always! Pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Again, these three elements, you'll see them together. When, when you give thanks in everything, you pray all the time, and you become happy all the time. These three. They, these three give birth to each other. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. That sentence means that this state of living that is, rejoicing, praying, giving thanks, these three. This state is the life that God wants for you. This is God's will. Meaning, when God looks down from heaven and he sees a person happy all the time, praying all the time, and thanking all the time, then he says, perfect. That's what I want. It doesn't matter where you live, what your job is, or what you own. It doesn't matter. You have fulfilled God's will.